Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular exhibition stall. So let's get started. That's the exhibition store also we can say. So now, let's go over here. So we have already modeled this stuff. Let's take again a tube over here. So let's take a tube like this. So I'll just shuffle this over here and let's increase a bit of its radius. Increase the sides over here. So let's convert to editable poly. Before that, I can slightly increase its radius over here in this way. So convert to editable poly. Select this. Select this polygons. Let's just delete this stuff the same way. Uh, I'll just go into this. I'll just delete this segments over here. So control and backspace to delete the segments. So select the border. Right click, cap it. Select the border and let's cap this stuff over here again. Now what I can do over here is like now again let's extrude that so I'll just select this cap it select this both and let's extrude it down over here so drag this till here and you can go into this front view and if you want to adjust it slightly that can be done if required select this stuff let's go to the top view shuffle it over here select the vertices select this over here and if you want to attach it you can attach it but uh, right now what I'll be doing over here is like will not attach it we'll just keep it closer because it would be difficult to manage this uh, stuff over here so what I'll be doing over here is like I'll not be attaching this let's select this polygons over here so let's select all of this polygons I'll just extrude it up press R and scale it from the top select this again extrude this I'll just push it inside so again you need to put the loops and everything if you want you can just join it or you can just keep it in the same way just extrude it R and let's scale this. Like this so as you can see we have done this so I can just slightly uh, shuffle it down if required a bit can make this a bit better so select this press R 
and scale it from the top push it up that's it all right now what i'll be doing over here is like just scale this press shift and drag over here and now so let's just duplicate it uh, same way i'll just shuffle it over here so like this go into the front view and push it in this way so now let's take some other reference let's go into file a view image file i'll take the other reference over here so we have uh, multiple references we can take any of the reference we'll take this reference again over here so what i'll do over here is like so it's not always necessary that you join this all this stuff so i'm not going to join it i'll just place it in this way simple i'll just save the file once let's take a box again right from the top view over here so convert to editable poly select the vertices so let's shuffle it over here so you can just check this over here how much we are going to extend uh, we have some other reference also yeah this is a correct reference so definitely will be leaving some space over here so let's just put one swift loop over here one over here let's put this swift loop select this polygons and let's just bridge this let's save the file once again now let's open the other reference over here and now again i'll select this vertices and i'll slightly shuffle it a bit wide over here so let's take the other view over here so let's take this view and let's go over here let's take a rectangle select this enable in viewport and make it as rectangular and slightly just push it inside so convert to editable poly before that we can slightly work with this length and width convert to poly select this select this edges connect it again scale this again select this edges again connect it scale it drag it over here select this all so 
So select the polygons. So I'll just select this and I'll just bridge this over here. So the same way we'll go over here. Select this. Again select this edges. And let's give connect. So I'll give four connects. Scale this. Scale this. Scale this. Alright, so select this polygons and bridge this, select this and this. So we are going to bridge all of this one by one. So let's just keep on bridging this. So once you have bridged it, now I will just take a plane over here. So let's just take a plane. Just take a plane over here. I'll just remove the segments over here. Drag it over here. And, and for temporary, I'm just assigning a material of a glass over here. So I can just go into standard and I'll just assign a glass material. I'll just go into this, I'll go into the architectural and I'll just assign a bit of a glass shader. Alright. Just for the understanding we are doing all this stuff over here. So later on I'll be assigning some uh, the proper the glass shader all right so we have already extended this again I'll select this I'll just put one loop over here I'll put one loop over here select the vertices select this polygons let's put one loop at the bottom we'll exclude this and I'll just select this slightly I'll extrude it a bit inside I can slightly shuffle this I'll slightly shuffle it a bit inside as required so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so if any doubts please put it in the comment section so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial